it's time to pull up these little ornamental bushes in front of the house that died in the Texas freeze of 2021. And I'm going to use this farm jack. I've used them before. A bit of warning. This design on farm jacks with this thin pipe comes in and is welded is not a good design. I've had one I borrowed from my neighbors and this thing bent. And then they, it was his son, so then I found this one on Craigslist or Marketplace and bought it. And then put the old handle on his and I took the damaged handle. And what happens is, and he put so much pressure on this thing bends right here. So it took me a while to give his back with a good handle. But it's just a weak design and there are numerous ones, not just picking on this farm jack brand but there are numerous ones they're made exactly the same where they just sort of fold and weld in it's a natural weakness point there are other ones that are rounder all the way down and some of them you can replace them but you start putting a couple hundred couple thousand pounds of pressure on this thing and that's the weak spot right here and so i got a cheater bar that fits over the top of this but right now it only comes down this far. So my idea was to weld some things on the side. I don't have a welding machine and I'm not a welder. So I'm gonna to try to take it easy on this. In any case, I got this tripod system. And hopefully since these have been dead, you can see all the mushrooms on that one for a while. They should come up easily. This one seems like it's trying to grow back, but hopefully the roots aren't full again. I gotta take it out. I think I have to take six of these out. Here's the first part of the assembly. Got a two by six on the bottom to keep the jack from digging in the dirt. Got these two by fours added like a tripod just for balance. It's not on here tight. It's just giving us some support here from twisting. I think they're four feet long maybe. Got a big old bolt. Looks like it's about eight or nine inches and just attached it. So again, it's just to keep that jack from wobbling. The most critical step now is I've got both the strap and the chain to wrap it around the bottom and jack it vertically. You want to make, make it come up and not at an angle. It's harder and it's got a grip and hopefully if it's real green, it's hard to get up. If it's dead, everything just shatters. <laughs> so it's got to be somewhere in the middle. And it has been raining, so the ground should be loose. Okay, now we're going to use the chain. I've got the hook on this side, just hooked on there. And I wrapped the chain once, and then I twisted it around itself twice. It's kind of a knot, but hopefully when the pressure starts tightening up, it'll sort of seal itself to a knot or it'll just come loose. Put the cheater bar on. Oh, you can see it coming up. Number one. Yay.
here it comes. Might want to wear a hard hat. Teeth protection. A lot of pressure here. I'm thinking these bushes are easy to take out, so it's not as much pressure as I've done before. Otherwise, I'd safety up. Okay, I think we're dangling. Hey. Okay, what I ended up doing is I don't have another one of these hooks handy. So I got this chain wrapped it around itself, put a piece of rebar through this link and this link. Hopefully the pressure is on the chain and not the rebar because that rebar will bend. Let's give it a try. You hear the branches breaking because the chain is slipping. It may be tight enough now. The branches above her like this keep a hold. That's a good break. Keep moving over here. We keep going so it cuts that tap root. I fell off the ground, off the wood. There we go. Sure you release the pressure before you get underneath there. I messed up here.
Don't break the window. Three bolts good. Worked well. The rebar worked well. And here are the other three. Those two look pretty gone. That one's missing a bunch of the top. So that's going to be hard to wrap around on the bottom. Let's also have to wash out for that cap right there that goes into the sewer line. And they're gone. No damage. Thought I was done after six. I realized there's a few more. I forgot about these. I thought they were coming back this summer, but nothing. There is more delicate bush. Oh, there's some growth in there. Hmm. There are more delicate bush, which may mean the branches break off easier when I'm trying to grip them. Maybe the roots will be more delicate. Oh. So I got six more. That one came up. The root system was pretty tough. This is the biggest one I have here. Again, got the clip on. I wrapped the chain link around itself and put a piece of rebar through. And the chain's got a grip around the bottom so it'll pull up some until it can just pull the whole root system out. And they're gone. You can see how big the bushes are in their root system. Most of it comes out. These are the bigger ones down here. And then there's two more to do here, which I didn't know about. These are a total different kind of plant. They were almost like trees, and they are in there. So there's no way that jack I have is going to pull these out. That pipe's going to bend. So I'm going to use a different technique to get these out. <laughs> 